let's have a look at the at the different tools. So this is the Joya Classic and you know they fit nicely in your hand and that was that was one of the things he wanted to achieve with his method draw. It's something that fits nicely in your hand and when you actually touch and you can do this on your arm or on your, on your leg you're always in contact. Yeah and that's the most important thing and I'm going to show you later to really get the grip of it just just for now. It's, it's a very handy tool and you create a lot of pressure with a crystal. Even if you just roll it, you already feel the pressure. Yeah? And if you want more pressure, the pressure comes out of your, of your body weight when you massage. Yeah? And as you realize your thumbs, what are they doing? Nothing. Yeah? You use them sometimes as, a, as guidance, yeah? depending on the body part you're massaging on. Um, but they don't have to do all the hard work and I think that's simply to me that's already <laughs> absolutely convincing. Yeah. Um, so the Joya Classic can, can be used for whole body massages literally from head to toe even though for facials they are a little bit better tools but you can still do like the forehead or the you know headaches you can go around the neck to the neck when there are tension in the neck down to your, to your feet you can, you can use the Joya Classic and it's very, very easy because, because of its shape you can really run it along all muscles and body, body parts. Um, when you use the Joya Classic and I will share that later as well in depth, you can also use the edges of it, yeah, especially when you work on shoulder blades for example or when you want to stretch the muscles, you can work with the edges and um, you can use them hot or cold as you would, you would do with hot or cold stone massages so I will share more about this later as well. Um, then we have our Joya Minis. The Joya Mini is, some people don't say it looks like a deodorant stick. <laughs> with a Joya Mini of course you wouldn't do a whole body massage yeah, because this one you have to grab again so that's against the complete <laughs> Joya concept. But what you can do, and you can just um, try it on your arm or try it on, on your neck, that's where I actually like, like it the best, you can really get into the spots. Yeah, I had a, a therapist uh, who was massaging me, the tennis team um, in Melbourne a few years ago. I met him on an event and um, he just said, oh wow, I can really use this to get into the spots on the shoulder. You can, you can get a lot of pressure and that's, that's one thing. Um, be aware that the crystals already create pressure but simply because they, they're rolling and you press so there's a, there's a pressure already so you can actually back off a little bit with the effort you would normally put in your massages. Um, the mini is also nice for facials. I know beauty therapists they love to use the mini to massage the mask in. Try that out for yourself, see what you like best. Um, minis are great for all joints nice for reflexology, um, on not, yeah reflexology not 100% but definitely for massages on hands and feet. Yeah it's very 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 easy to, to roll over your hands and it's actually really nice on your feet too especially because you can create um, a bit more pressure with the mini. So the next, next tool and that's one of the most exciting ones, it's our Joya pen. Um, a very nice and gentle massage, just divine everywhere in the face, on the temples and you will notice the stones are really nice and cool. Yeah, you can, as I said before, they can be warmed but they're actually really nice when you use them, use them cooled. Um, the pen, yeah, mainly made um, of course for facials. Um, the midwives in Germany discovered um, the pen to use for baby massages because they're so nice and gentle. We normally use it for facials and then we have the crystal sphere nicely rolling over the skin. If we want to use a Joya pen for um, like acupressure, reflexology or even meridian work, then we would like to create a bit more pressure and in order to do this we release the crystal sphere by pressing on the end. Make sure you catch it. And then there's this little white cap on the top here and we simply turn this one like for one or two millimeters only so you can see a little gap here and then when we reinsert the crystal sphere we now have that wasn't enough so that's where you can play with it turn it out a bit more 
So and what we find now, because the sphere is sort of stopped from rolling, it creates a very different pressure compared to rolling gently over the skin. So if you want to use it for facials again, we have to reverse it. So turn this back in. And then it's nice, holds nice and easy again. Another possibility to create pressure, if you just want to create the pressure on a spot, but not all the time, we can use this little cap that always comes with your pen and people always ask, what's that cap for? Um, the cap is simply, you can create pressure by simply pressing your thumb on the end of the joya and as if you want to release the crystal, you just press it down so and you create the pressure on the spot. And the function of the cap is simply so you don't get those marks in your thumbs and you hurt your thumbs, you just put this cap on to protect your thumb. That's all. So whether you want to use it or not, that's completely up to you. So you just press and create the pressure. The Joya Massage Glove is a little bit of a different tool. The way it goes around your hand and you can close it. And compared to all the other Joyas where the crystal sits in safely um, in the Teflon ring. In the massage glove the crystal only sits in this half shell. The idea of the massage glove actually is to be even closer to the body. The glove is a, actually a tool therapists um, were asking for. So even with the Joya Classic you always work close to the body. In a glove only this half shell is sort of separating you and allowing you to create even more pressure. You have to get a little bit more used to it, but as your client is normally lying down, it is quite easy to, to work with the glove and all you actually do. Okay, so you just place the crystal in, in the half shell and then you roll. Yeah, you just have to make sure to keep your hands close to the body so you don't lose the crystal as such. But it allows you to create even more pressure um, than um, just without. Um, the idea is also when you work with the glove, you can simultaneously do the crystal massage and the hand massage because you still can, a little bit hard to demonstrate on my arm, um, but you can sort of still yeah, do the work with your hands and have the crystal working at the same time. Um, those gloves, they are washable and they come for right hand and left hand and as they are all um, can be adjusted with this Velcro strap, they fit for small hands as mine and as well as for bigger male hands. A friend of mine in Sydney, she really loves um, to use the gloves just down here on, on, on the sides in the um, hip area. It's a really nice kneading um, massage to give there. This is a Joya Twin. Um, easy to remember, so it's two <laughs> crystals. Um, the idea of the Joya Twin is um, massaging along the spine. Yeah, the crystals are placed so they fit nicely and safely to work the muscles left and right of the spine and as a massage therapist what you can do because you know what you do if you actually tilt it a little bit measuring this is my spine <laughs> or the spine tilting it a little bit allows you to get closer and actually massage in the groove closer to to the spine just simply up and down but then you can try this one out later as well it's actually I love it on the legs it's really nice um, on the leg area. Um, any bigger muscles over the bum um, and even on the shoulders, up and down the shoulders. The only thing is um, with the twin, it is hard to completely stay in contact because it's simply a bigger handpiece. Yeah? While well, with the classic you're always in contact, but depending on how you hold it, it's, it's a little bit more, more tricky. But if you, um, for some reason, you know, just want to warm up the muscles, if there's a lot of tension, um, you know, just going up and down or chiropractors sometimes like to use it to warm up the muscles before they start to crack. <laughs> so that's what, um, what the um, twin is for.